Welcome guys to my predictions of the best young players that you'll want to sign in FM18. Just like last video which was about which club to manage by the way, check it out if you haven't already. I'm gonna keep it relatively quick, so let's begin. My first pick is AZ Alkma and Dutch under 70 striker Myron Boadu. The young Dutch forward has already been added to AZ's first team, who are a consistent contender for Europe in the Netherlands by the way, and he stands quite tall for his age at 6 foot 0. He has confirmed his ambition to become one of the world's best and has recently decided against joining a team in the Premier League in favour of taking his chances with AZ. Being two-footed, quick and strong, he has everything in his locker to make it to the top. Next one is probably the most known name on this list, it's Carles Alenia. The media tend to quite quickly label a player as the new Ronaldo or Messi, but this kid fully deserves to label the next Iniesta. Being a very similar player to Andres Iniesta and playing at Barcelona, he might actually be the replacement for the aging legend. He has already made his debut for Barca against Espanyol and he scored his first goal in a 1-1 draw against Hercules in the Copa del Rey. From a well-known player moving to a new star, we've got Angel Gomez. Making his debut versus Crystal Palace at 16 years and 236 days old, he has instantly moved into the spotlight of the media. Captaining England at under 16, 17 and 18 levels, the attacking midfielder has made a, na a name for himself quite quick. I could praise the kid to no end because I've watched him play football, but let's quote the best player the game has ever known, Danny Webber. He said, Gomez is still very small, but he sees the game seconds before others. Gomez is like Paul Scholes, he can dictate a game with his intelligence. Amen. Next Wonder Kid prediction is Diego Lainez, a 17-year-old winger from Mexican side America. For those of you who are into FM15, this kid sparks a striking resemblance to a Wonder Kid in that game, Herving Lozano. Pacey, Mexican and incredibly talented, young Lainez has already featured 12 times for his club. Listed by The Guardian as one of the best young players in football, this guy will be a must to pick up early in any save. Next up is AC Milan revelation Patrick Cutrone. Probably not much of a surprise pick, Cutrone being only 18 years old has managed to break into a very good and very expensive Milan side playing 8 and scoring twice this season. He has also represented his country on every youth level up to the under 21s and has been scoring for fun in every one of them. In FM, Cutrone will probably be ridiculously expensive though, so unless you start with Man City or Real Madrid, this guy may be out of your league. But when you do get him, I expect him to develop in one of the very best. A guy that was already very good in FM17 is Malang Saar. The Nice defender is a regular starter in every competition for the Frenchman and at such a young age. He also scored on his debut, which is unique in and of itself for a defender, but instead of taking the spotlight at that moment, he decided to dedicate the goal to the victims of the terrorist attack on Nice a month earlier. So being a top bloke, a physically strong defender and only 18 years old, reasons to sign him are obvious. Next up is PSV's Steven Bergwijn. 39 starts for PSV, driving force behind the Dutch on the 21 team and two Dutch titles speak for themselves. Bergwijn is a very pacey winger, technically superb and with interest from a team no less than Barcelona, he has a very bright future. If you want to see personally what this kid can do, check out his goal versus FC Utrecht in the Eredivisie. He had to talk off comparisons to Maradona after that one. The kid of 45 million is Vinicius Junior. This kid has it all. Blistering pace, the technical ability to back that pace up and a monstrous goal to game ratio. Scoring 19 goals in 22 appearances for Brazil's under-17 side, he was awarded player of the tournament for the under-17 South American Championship. Downside though, he will join Real Madrid for 45 million in 2019, so he's very tough to sign quickly. A Stoke City reject is next, Ben Brereton. The Potters will be kicking themselves for releasing Brereton, who was picked up by Nottingham Forest. Impressing for Forrest in the youth teams, he was quickly awarded a new contract and was called up to the first team. Since then, he has made 27 appearances and has been called up for the England under-19 side. That's what you call an unlikely turnaround. 
Last one on this list is Fortuna Sittard, Pear Schuurs, and I saved the best for the last. Fortuna Sittard are a small team playing in the Dutch second tier, but that hasn't stopped Schuurs from making a name for himself. He is 17 years old, played 24 games last season, and this season he is the captain of the Dutch side. Interest from clubs like PSV, Ajax and Liverpool were immediate, but they'll have to wait a bit longer as Schuurs have made clear he wishes to at least finish the season in Sittard by signing a new contract. Towering at 6 foot 3, the young defender will be a must sign for every save as he probably won't be as expensive. Alright, thank you very much for watching until the end. Make sure to subscribe as I'm gonna do a Leverkusen save when the beta drops and I will probably attempt to sign a few of these lads in my save. A like is also very much appreciated and I will see you next time.